Nikki Graham, How Big Brother Changed My Life. It's the end of an era. After 18 years on television and 8 years on Channel 5, Big Brother is coming to an end on 5 November. While it may seek a new lease of life on another channel, reality TV fans may have to come to terms with life without the diary room, Marcus Bentley's voiceover in Eviction Night. Don't despair, in honor of 18 years of tantrums, romances and all-round drama, we have caught up with some of the most memorable housemates in Big Brother history to ask how the show has changed their lives, for better or for worse. Today, we're reflecting on the Boreham Wood bungalow with the woman whose hysterical tantrums are still some of the most iconic moments in BB history. All together now, who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? Nikki Graham was 24 when she entered the seventh series of Big Brother in 2006 and instantly became a BB housemate for the ages with her tantrums over everything from the aircon to the alarm clock and her endearing romance with event winner Pete Bennett. She was first evicted in week nine but was voted back into the house in a controversial move and eventually came fifth. But that wasn't all her time in the house, Nikki came second in Ultimate Big Brother, returned to the house in 2015 as part of the Time Bomb twist, and even entered Big Brother Canada as an international wildcard. Speaking to Metro. Co. Huck, Nikki, now 36, said, I think I pretty much am Big Brother. I've so proud to have been a part of it, and it's always a dream to have been on the show and to have been given that opportunity is a dream come true. I don't regret a single thing. It's most definitely the best thing I ever did in life. From that, I was able to experience some of the most unimaginable things. The past 12 years have been a whirlwind. Nikki has gone on to have her own reality show and is a regular on bit on the side in the celeb scene, and she credits her time in the house with where she is now in her life. When asked if she'd be where she is now without Big Brother, Nikki said, absolutely not. I own my own property, I'm more worldly. It really grounded me, Big Brother. For a lot of people, it can change them for the worst, it can give people delusions of grandeur. But for me, I think it did the opposite. I was so humbled by everything I was given, it made me a better person. I'm so grateful for that, the opportunities I've been given, and the dreams that I've lived, it would be very easy to have been swept up in it all but I've kept my feet on the ground. That may sound odd coming from the queen of diary room hissy fits, but Nikki doesn't regret any of the strops, that may be be history. I don't think I would change anything if I'm honest. There were things in the house that obviously upset me at the time, including the air conditioning and Susie Verico nominating me, I mean, who is she? But I look back at it and when you're in there, everything is such a big deal. But those things make your experience. Like she said, Nikki is basically the epitome of Big Brother and she's heartbroken that this is the final series on Channel 5. It's the final of the last ever Big Brother on Channel 5. Lewis Flanagan seen for first time since Big Brother acts over Auschwitzler Kim Woodbourne puts chicken-livered housemates in their place as she returns to Big Brother Kim Woodburn is returning to Big Brother tonight and just think of the memes about to come I am devastated and this last series has been absolutely outstanding. I'm going to be so lost when this ends, I am obsessed with the series.